Well, hello everyone, I'm back again for another update here. It is Sunday, January 11th, 2021, midday. Sun is out today. I am still in the third floor of my apartment building here. I will be here till tomorrow. Um, as my truck is being worked on, and truck should be done tomorrow, so I hope to be departing and back up and running again tomorrow. Um, I have done an about face with this building. I'm not going to be keeping it. Reason being, I'm going to be putting it back on the market. Um, like I said, Resistance to what is the biggest cause of suffering. What is in this particular case is it's going to take an enormous amount of money to upgrade this building. Uh, much more than I anticipated it was going to take. Even though the code enforcer has backed off on a shutdown, force shutdown, it's going to take another at least sixty-five thousand more dollars, according to my building manager, to upgrade everything, which I cannot afford. Um, but, however, since the building is not going into forced shutdown mode, I am going to try to at least make a little money on the sale of this building on the asking price. I'm going to set it and hope for the best. So I will not be renting these apartments out. Um, the tenant that was supposed to be evicted I ended up losing the hearing however she is gone um, I spoke with her a few days ago she agreed to vacate voluntarily and so she is gone now we took her down to the bus station this morning me and my building manager she's on her way um, back to Alabama where she's from, as well as her soon-to-be ex-husband. He was abusive, and he went to jail, but he, he was back there with her, so we got him out as well and took them both down to the bus station, but she told me she is not going with him. She They're going their separate ways, supposedly. Um, and he is on drugs. He has been abusive to her. So I told her I don't blame you for leaving him. So um, she is on her way out. And me and the building manager sat down. The flooring was messed up in her apartment. It's going to require another $2,000 just to upgrade that flooring. And then with all this money, I... Shelled out in the last few days ten thousand dollars for flooring for just two of the apartments and well recently in the the sub flooring for the um first apartment alone and the flooring on top of that for just two apartments is gonna run is run me ten thousand more dollars. And I'm very, I was very concerned about what the total cost was going to be to upgrade everything. So me and my building manager sat down and he calculated everything. And 65000 more dollars is way out of my realm. There's no way I'm going to go broke over this apartment building. Which... Basically, 
and if I didn't go broke, it would deplete my finances considerably to try to hold on here. So I have done an about face. I am not keeping the building. It is getting shut down. I served notice on the remaining tenant um, a few days ago um, to be out by March 1st. And he received the notice, so I'm sure he will be out by 1st of March. We're going to shut down the remaining parts of the building shortly and then shut it completely down once the remaining tenant is out. And then I'm going to put the place on market. And just... get my money back, do my best to get my money back that I paid out for this whole thing, or at least get most of it, if not all of it, back. Uh, my building manager wants to buy my property. Um, he's there, he's renting it from me currently. He's interested in purchasing the property from me, so we're going to work out a plan to where he can purchase the property and pay it off over a seven year period. Um, so that's going to leave me with no home, at least for now. Um, I have in mind, I don't think I'm going to be staying in Maine. I'm probably going to be relocating to another part of the country. I haven't decided exactly where yet. Um, but it's going to be somewhere where property is reasonably priced, where I can afford something without having to take out a mortgage to purchase. I'm not sure I'm going to have to research some possibilities on that. Um, the main thing near term is to get my investment back here, if at all possible, um, through the resale of this place. Um, already the subflooring is down in one of the apartments and again without a forced shutdown I will be able to ask a much higher price for this property. And so that is going to be my next objective here. And again, I'm going to leave out tomorrow and, of course, I'm going to work at least till next summer to try to get some of this money earned back that I've lost with all this, if none else. Um, and I took into account the economy of this area. It's a very depressed area. He calculated it would take me 10 years just to get back the money for each apartment that I'd have to put into it would take 10 years of rentals, of consistently paying rent. And right away from that alone, I came to the conclusion it's just not worth going any further with this. It's just not uh, financially viable. So um, that is going to be it for this video. I am not sure I may not return. This may be my last time here, um, depending. Uh, I'm probably going to have my building manager handle as much as possible with all this. And if, like I said a few minutes ago, he... He is, he and his soon-to-be wife are very interested in my property. They want to purchase it from me. So I am going to sell it to them. So that is going to be it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this discussion. I will be back soon.